All right, hi Nina. It's Pete uh, here with you in the kitchen, and I wanted to make a video for you just to show you uh, one strategy that I use for nutrition to keep me full. And uh, basically, second week was a learning process for you. Uh, first week was fantastic. If you just keep with the calorie recommendations I gave you for this week, then you should be fine. You should continue to lose. Sometimes social situations just uh, throw you off a little bit. But uh, I'm going to show you my strategy. I shop at Superstore and I'm going to show you part one. This is my messy kitchen here. Got the kitchen scale. Uh, these are the veggies I use uh, for my vegetable gumbo. Uh, always have a couple tomatoes. Very good for you. They're about 20 calories each. Uh, yellow zucchini. This stuff's only, I think, a buck 20 a pound at Superstore, and it's only 17 calories per 100 grams. It's the, got the lowest calories of any veggie, and it fills you up. This stuff's just full of nutrients, too. Spinach, of course. Uh, cabbage, which is so good for you. Balances out your hormones. Uh, really good for that. And of course, carrots at only 40 calories per 100 grams. They have half the calories of potatoes, but a lot more nutrients, beta carotene, vitamin A. And then I use a little bit of this uh, sugar-free ketchup from Superstore, and it's sweetened with stevia, so it's all natural, and it's only five calories per tablespoon. So it's like a free sweetener. It, it uh, sweetens the whole thing up. I'm gonna chop up all these veggies real quick, throw them into the uh, the old pan, and then uh, I'll show you in part two kind of what it looks like, but it makes a big gumbo. And, um, oh yeah, one other thing. Uh, I'll take this bowl here, a uh, big glass bowl. I got my scale. And then I'll just throw the bowl on there. And as I chop things up, I'll just add them in to the bowl and, and uh, gives me the total uh, calories. Uh, I, I'd say for you, try to get in at least 300 calories of veggies. Uh, and I think you'll find that your body feels better. It's supercharged with nutri nutrients. Um, there's actually protein in this as well. There'll probably be about 10 grams to 15 grams of protein for that 300 calories. And it will fill up this bowl. So uh, yeah, I'll send you part two pretty quick here and uh, I think you'll like it. So peace. Okay, I'm back and uh, basically just took about two minutes to chop up some zucchini here. And uh, I threw on the cabbage, zucchini, and always throw on the carrots first. So this makes a good base. I got uh, the pan on high. And I just put water in the pan uh, enough to cover it. So about half an inch uh, to an inch of water in there. And uh, that's already getting pretty hot. It's gonna start boiling pretty soon. The carrots are the what needs the most uh, time to cook. And uh, I'll just throw all of that beautiful cabbage. Oops. Ooh, can't film and operate bowl at the same time. Okay, there we go. And we got the nice yellow and the orange going on there. So that'll go sit on top and uh, looks very nice. This whole thing with two tomatoes all that cabbage, spinach, carrots, all this stuff will come out to a grand total of 430 calories. And I will uh, show you when it's cooking next, uh, see how it's looking here. Very easy. Okay, now we have the uh, veggies up to a bit of a boil. So those are simmering nicely. And I just chopped up my tomatoes. Pretty simple. And we're gonna see if I can do this here. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful red, orange, yellow colors. And look at this. This whole thing of spinach, massive amount of health. I can't even, I don't know what to say. It's just awesome. Uh, 60 calories for this. That goes on last, so that goes on after all of this has finished cooking a bit. But here's what we do. 
is we take this stuff, a little bit of ketchup, me and my video making skills, and we're just gonna put some of that on there. Oh, oops, or not. This is what happens when I make videos. I get a new bottle of ketchup and it still has the seal on it. There we go. Um, I was gonna say you can also use celery. It, it's an amazing aromatic vegetable that most people think celery doesn't have any nutrients, but it actually has something very interesting called apigenin. And uh, mm, apigenin is the same pheromone, if you've heard of pheromones, they're a derivative of hormones, that uh, pigs secrete when uh, in mating season to signal that uh, they are the alpha male. So celery's actually been proven to increase testosterone, which is also really good for females because it helps with fat burning. So celery is awesome. Just remember that if nature put it on this earth, it's good for you, it's medicinal. These are herbs. They're powerful, beautiful foods that people need to eat. Yes, you can eat whatever you want pretty much and get lean, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna have the greatest body. You're gonna have the best energy levels. Uh, you know, taking half an hour uh, to make these veggies, it, you're going to be so grateful, especially when you're older and you still look beautiful and amazing and your, your skin's healthy. Um, it really makes a huge difference getting all these veggies in. You'll be happier, fuller. You won't crave anything because you have so many vitamins and minerals in you. Uh, so we're gonna put on our all natural, almost calorie free ketchup. And this just adds a bit of a sweetness to this dish. I love this stuff, so stock up on it. It's at Superstore. Then we go into the cupboard. We have our sea salt, very important for your adrenal glands to give you lots of energy, especially when you're uh, in dieting mode. More salt is better, not less salt. Please people, wake up, smell the science. Then we have my favorite spice, roasted garlic and pepper. This stuff is so good. Oh my goodness. We're gonna throw that on there. If you could smell this, Absolutely amazing. Oh, I'll put some more on there. It's not enough. There we go. Got to be generous with the spices. And next up, I'm going to show you putting the spinach on and finishing this up. Okay, Nina, this is the final product for the veggie briami here. Ta da! Oh my god. That smells amazing. So, yeah, you can see what's up there. And uh, this little guy, I will have this all day. So if you wanted to, you could make a massive, massive pot. You could break up the crock pot and make enough for three or four or five days. Uh, but I'll just throw it in there. I'll eat the whole thing right now. It's uh, 11 o'clock. And that's my veggies. And then uh, the only other veggies I'd have, I have, uh, I like these sugar snap peas to snack on um, at night. These guys, they're low calorie. You can have a huge bowl for 100 calories, but there's my fridge. Just lots of produce, basically, some Diet Coke. And uh, not much else, just veggies. Yeah, some apples. Um, you know, you don't have to be a health freak, but. If you get in this much veggies and, and fruits every day, then uh, you can have those little treats. It's just that if you have things like breads and uh, uh, just filler calories that you don't really need, see what you can. We'll see what you can take out of your pre and post workout uh, window. I mean, a little bit of carbs is okay, but you might find that you can save a lot. And uh, I know you like peanut butter on your toast, but you know, cutting that out would uh, allow you to have another 50 calories. I mean, you know, an apple will fill you up uh, more, you know, or uh, uh, half a grapefruit more than a uh, half a tablespoon of peanut butter. But um, again, I'm just trying to solve problems with compliance. 
And uh, in the end, if you can't do the program, it won't work. So sometimes you have to make changes to um, just to get the program done. But uh, keep in touch. Let me know how it goes. And I'll talk to you soon.